Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, accompanied by His Royal Highness Prince Al Hassan bin Talal of Jordan, paid a visit to Sabha area adjacent to Bahrain Endurance Village, where His Majesty the King and Prince Al Hassan followed up on the Bahrain Falconry competition in its third edition, held under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Head of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa. Upon arrival, His Majesty the King and Prince Al Hassan bin Talal were received by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin. Hamid Al Khalifa and the Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Head of the West Asia Athletics Association, and Head of the President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King and the Kingdom's guest, Prince Al Hassan, were briefed by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid on the completion, which included Arabian horse races, Salugi dogs, as well as falcon contests. His Majesty the King and Prince Al Hassan bin Talal then followed up on the races. His Majesty the King congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad on the competition's success and achievements, as well as the wide participation of owners and fans of such traditional sport. His Majesty the King recognized the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in reviving such heritage and preserving it through holding the competition. His Majesty valued Sheikh Nasser's patronage of the sporting event, which enhances the Bahraini culture. His Majesty the King also recognized the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad for his support for such a sport. And and preserving the national heritage. His Majesty lauded the high standards of performance put on display, which attracted fans. His Majesty the King also voiced appreciation to the organizers of the event for their contributions and congratulated the winners of the contest, wishing them every success. His Anna Sheikh Nasser asserted that His Majesty's keenness in attending the competition supports the march of traditional sports. His Highness added that His Majesty's follow-up and meeting with the organizing committee resulted in encouraging the participants to preserve traditional sports, noting that they highly esteem His Majesty's visit. His his Highness affirmed that the falconry and hunting sport receives a tremendous support from the wise leadership, adding that the large participation in the event and the technological applications used in the competitions represent a development that proved the organizers' keenness on the success and continuous of the event. He stated that the competitions will continue to succeed due to the shared desire to preserve this traditional sport. He also noted that the kingdom is keen on preserving heritage and traditional history.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, was honored in the Triple Crown Ironman Championship for topping the Gulf Cooperation Council's participants list as the fastest racer. His Highness hailed the participation of the National Guard team in the race and their winning the first place among their category. His Highness affirmed that the honoring of the Bahraini team in the championship's closing ceremony is proof of the advanced level that the Bahraini youth has achieved through participating in various championships, which is a result of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's support. On his part, the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the West Asian Athletics Federation and President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa commended His Highness Sheikh Nasser on the occasion of this event, praising the positive results that the Bahrain Triathlon team has achieved under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nasser. He stated that Bahrain's team's participation is part of a strategy that His Highness Sheikh Nasser planned which aims to enhance the presence of Bahrain in this international sport. His Honor Sheikh Khalid added that the race witnessed the participation of the sport's most distinguished players, which was reflected in the fierce competition among the participants. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and attended by the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation Chairman, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The fourth week of the Bahrain Falconry Competition concluded, which was held for the Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa local contestants cup in Al Sabha area near Bahrain International Endurance Village. His Honor Sheikh Nasser said that the competition is a cultural and traditional gathering that introduces Bahraini traditional sports which was reflected by the foreign community's participation. For his part, His Honor Sheikh Khalid expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on his continuous support to the sport and the Bahraini and Gulf players which contributed to the success of the competition and reflect His Majesty's keenness to maintain the Gulf authentic heritage. The competition included falcon con contests, salugi dog races, as well as horse races. And at the end of the competition, His Honor Sheikh Khalid crowned the winners. The second week of the competition is scheduled to kick off on Sunday with 60 participants. It will include theoretical and practical training for a number of traditional sports and will last until Thursday. 